Thanks. Um, so the cry is unity. All of these problems we've been discussing today, they have to be addressed comprehensively. So, you know, I love all of these campaigns that we've heard about today. But I'm going to tell you one more, the people's budget. The people's budget, what is the people's budget? It's a comprehensive, uh, the federal government spends about 20% of the national product for everything that it does. So the federal budget is a major part of our nation's economy. It was actually 24% one year under Obama. It was over 40% in 1944. So when our country wants to do something, it can mobilize the resources to do it. But right now it's about 20%. Um, the people's budget is an alternative budget for what should be done with that, and it's a people's platform. It, it puts together all the things we've been talking about today. It talks about, it, it puts together health care, fair taxes, uh, debt-free college, pre-K, uh, minimum wage, poverty, immigration reform, carbon tax, services for veterans, and cutting the military budget into one piece of legislation. And strangely enough, by the way Congress works, we get a vote on the people's budget every year. So we, even though we haven't quite come close to passing it yet, it's a meaningful uh, part of the debate in Washington. This year we got 108 members of Congress who voted for it. That was a record. It was 94 the previous year. Uh, so we went, up, we went from 94 to 108. In Mass and, we, and we are a majority of the Democratic caucus in Congress. So it's really a struggle within the Democratic Party between the progressives and you could call them the neoliberals or the centrists. The people's budget is roughly similar to the platform Bernie Sanders ran on. In some cases, Bernie Sanders even went beyond the people's budget. Uh, for example, he called for um, single payer. The people's budget is not there yet, but we'll get it there. Um, um, in Massachusetts, we, we got five out of nine members of the House of Representatives to vote for the people's budget for the first time this year, or well, last year, 2017. Uh, we've always had um, Mike Capuano, Jim McGovern, and Catherine Clark. Two years ago, for the first time, we got Stephen Lynch. And, the, and, and, tw and last year, for the first time, we got Joe Kennedy. Joe Kennedy is going to give the Democratic response to the State of the Union next week. I hope he mentions the people's budget. I'm not going to hold my breath because we know he's a vacillating uh, member. He is a member of the Progressive Caucus who always voted against the people's budget, which is its budget, but he finally is voting for it now. So we need to hold into that. We have four more to go in our state. Uh, obviously, in the country, we have uh, many more to go. Um, the biggest problem we have, though, in advocating for the people's budget is breaking it down. Budgets bore people to death. We have like 35 people here today to come, who came to hear about the budget. This, this forum was an invaluable source of information. I'm glad we got it on tape. Um, because we need to figure out how to shout this from the rooftops. We need to show people that their needs, going back to the panel on the state budget, look at the struggle we have to go through to get $2 billion more into the state budget. That campaign has been going for four years. It's against the state constitution to have a progressive income tax. Well, the federal government has had a progressive income tax for 100 years. The rich actually are taxed more, not that much more, not nearly as steeply a difference as would be with the people's budget, which will go up to a 50%. It was 70% in the time of JFK. The rich paid 70%. People's budget would raise them up to 30 to 50%, the millionaires and the billionaires. They're, they pay, what, um, 39 today that went down to 34 with the Trump tax plan that was just cut, just passed. Um, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, but uh, we have to break this down. And our challenge is to get all the progressive groups that are campaigning on single issues to see that they're not going to win their issue all by themselves. They're not going to get better funding for schools. They're not going to get better funding for housing or for health care or for transit by working on that single issue. They'll make some gains, and, and guys like Mike and Quentin will help get some gains at the state level. But the federal government is where the money is in the United States. 
And as Lindsay told us, and as uh, several speakers told us, that money is being spent on the military today. And all the social safety net is being cut. And of course, the taxes on the rich are also being cut, so the federal government will have less by the new tax bill that was passed than it had even before. We gotta reverse this, and all these groups have to come together to work on it, or we're gonna continue to go backwards. So that's the challenge of the people's budget, to explain it, to get, to get it through to the ordinary person what this means. And um, this is our pamphlet. This is where we are. I've got a little pile of them over here. Please pick it up. And we need to have, we, you know, just at the level of pamphlets, we need to do a lot better. We need a people's budget pamphlet for housing. We need a people's budget pamphlet for health care. We need a people's budget pamphlet for transit so that the advocates that are here today that represent those constituencies and those issues and those movements can use it to explain to their rank and file how important the people's budget is to get what those uh, people need. Um, so that's my pitch to you. Join the People's Budget Campaign. We uh, have a state organization also, which is a coalition of organizations. Best Peace Action is a proud member of that. Um, and we have several other organizations involved. Uh, our next major action will be on tax day. Actually, it'll be the Saturday before tax day. It's gonna be Saturday, April 14th. Uh, probably on Cambridge Common. We're still working on those uh, logistics. Yep. And we'll call to repeal the Trump tax cut uh, and pass the people's budget. So join us with that. Thanks, Tom.